Manipulation in the Media To understand what manipulation in the media is, we should explain what manipulation is by itself. Let's use a simple definition. Manipulation is a type of social influence that aims to change the behavior or perception of others and use them to serve purposes of the manipulator. Nowadays, we are surrounded by advertisements. Advertising affects our lives more and more. We can see advertisements on billboards, while listening to the radio, reading newspapers, watching TV, and of course surfing the web. We should focus our attention on advertisement manipulation in television, because it is one of the most popular media used by elderly people. Companies hire marketing specialists and copywriters to use new and more creative methods of advertisement manipulation. To illustrate this phenomenon, seniors from Manco Association decided to enact two short scenes. They used example of advertisement with a doctor and a mechanic as trustworthy specialists. Mr. Marek is going to become a doctor. He's going to advertise new medicine X in TV commercial. In reality, he has nothing to do with medicine and he knows nothing about drugs. We shouldn't be influenced by his opinion. However, this is not a problem in advertisement business. They give him a doctor's smog, a stethoscope, and Mr. Marek has a new identity. Now, let's see how it looks on TV. Do you feel sick? Something hurts and nothing helps you? Take Drug X. Drug X is the most often recommended medicine by doctors. I don't need to examine you to know that you are not using Drug X. Drug X is the best for your health. Shortly after, Mr. Marek will go to the next movie set. This time it is a commercial of preparation for car paint. The doctor's smock will be replaced with a mechanic apron, and Mr. Marek will change his name and profession again. That's enough to make him a car specialist in viewers' minds. Is it possible that one product protects your whole car? Of course. Magic spray makes your car look like new. Everybody will be jealous of it. Use magic spray now. Recommended by Mr. Jan, a mechanic with 20 years of experience. Manipulation in media is not only connected with advertisement. There are many techniques of manipulation. Opinion polls. Polls are not always objective. One of the methods of manipulation is gathering group of respondents who respond according to pre-arranged results. Thanks to that, media receive opinions which they demonstrate themselves. Press photography is another method of manipulation in media. For example, framing. To show the whole crowd in the picture, all we need is a few people who feel the photography, to show that there were so many people at some event. On the other hand, at the event where there were a lot of people, we can take a photo of only one of them and show that this event was unsuccessful. Advertorials. Advertisements deliberately stylized to look like regular article. Someone pays to have their content in a publication, for example, brand name. Visual content. Visual content is very important for marketing strategy. Using persuasive visual advertising techniques can help to communicate your message. To encourage something or to draw attention to the area we want the viewer to focus on, Colors, bullet points, different sizes and types of fonts should be used. Attractive product design. Product packaging is also a form of manipulation. It is obvious that we prefer to buy things which look nice and appealing, or things which we know from commercials. Why media needs manipulation? TV channels, magazines, newspapers, radio stations and websites use a variety of techniques of manipulation for different purposes. For example, attracting new customers and expanding customer base, election campaigning, building the company's image, market competition. How can we protect ourselves from manipulation? Everybody is exposed to be manipulated by media. The most important thing is to realize how manipulative media are and try to notice manipulative techniques. In addition, we need to compare information from various sources, be objective and reasonable. The most important thing is to remember about critical thinking. However, if we take precautions and realize the ways how they affect us and get some perspective, we can avoid negative consequences of it.